The container drive began at St. Joseph Regional High School at the start of the school year with a simple premise, to motivate the community to turn excess into generosity. The drive set a goal of filling an entire 10 foot by 10 foot by 40 foot container crate with items that would otherwise be thrown away or sold at garage sales. Instead, these items would be shipped by alumnus Jim Burns from the class of 1967 and friend Bill Paolino. The two men have formed lasting bonds with schools and orphanages in both El Salvador and Nicaragua from doing Habitat for Humanity work. Hi, I'm uh, Chris Burns, class of 2007. Um, I participated in Habitat for Humanity in El Salvador two years ago, um, building a house for a uh, family in need. Well, they're, uh, they're at a loss for clothes, uh, recreational goods, uh, school supplies, so we're helping out with, uh, with all those things. It's like a juicy chore purse. There's like, I have some bags in there, some stuffed animals. Um, computer, a printer. Well, I got 200 toothbrushes and 200 tubes of toothpaste from uh, a church in Franklin Lakes from some family fr from some family friends. Uh, they were doing an El Salvador drive and they couldn't take everything with them, so they gave me a call and I said, sure, why not? I'll take it. I mean, Franklin Lakes, Mary. Press Pro Help. Pick up some items. Tell them that we're here if they have anything left they want to donate. All right, let's go. Roll out all the bots. Um. Brought a bunch of clothes, uh, some sports equipment, football, frisbee, um, a couple hats, and a pair of boots. There was a massive email that went out on Facebook um, by St. Joe's, and I saw it, and I said that I might stop by, and I did. Well, um, I was desperately in need of getting rid of a lot of stuff that I have, unnecessary stuff, stuff I've had throughout the years and whatnot, and I thought it was a wonderful thing um, to give things to people who are less fortunate. It was a lot of people coming through to make a difference, so I really wanted to be a part of it. Pete's our chef. He's making food for all the people that uh, volunteer today. Say hi, Pete. It's okay. What are you doing, Pete? Just getting some hamburgers. Good man. I know, but I wanted to know specifically what he's doing. <laughs> so I came and dropped off my stuff, and on my way home, I stopped at a garage sale to tell them that if they had any leftover stuff, they could bring it here. And they immediately told me to just bring over all the stuffed animals. So I just came back. Throughout the year, St. Joe's conducted monthly drives for Halloween candy for inner city children, Thanksgiving meals for local families, and toys for tots. All the while, in the background, the container drive continued as student families brought in items ranging from used board games and kids' toys to new baseball gloves and bags of athletic socks. My name is Deacon Joe Sisko. I'm the director of campus ministry here at St. Joe's. And working along with Mr. Fuji, we have uh, designed the program that each month we do a um, basic social outreach um, concerns program and each month whether it would be food, toys, um, clothing, uh, we try to work hard with um, you know being able to enable other people to live with dignity and, and this container drive actually is just a year-long process in which it just not only does it supplement the, the campus ministry program but it just makes it uh, more expandable and um, and it's it's a great program and it's nice to see that our our community is able to reach out and to um, not only take care of the people in our own area but also take uh, take care of people in El Salvador and other countries that have nothing. Hi, I'm Craig. I started off the project here with Mr. Burns since it first began. Uh, we started off in the theater where he had a PowerPoint presentation, and from there I just kind of took off with it. We had a uh, student council. Um, here at the school we had a collection, drove my car around, we went to garage sales and all that, um, and now we're here collecting and organizing, going through everything that we have. Hi, I'm Jim Burns from class of uh, 67 here at St. Joe's Regional High School in Montfield, New Jersey. We are assembling goods to go to El Salvador for um, a couple of orphanages and a few schools uh, in some very indigent areas um, of El Salvador. Um, really thrilled to have all these guys here doing a great job for us. I think it's important that they get to see um, some of the things that they would normally throw out become real uh, special gifts, if you will, to these uh, great poor people. We're going to have uh, the people that receive these take pictures, send them back, 
and with letters of uh, thanks to everybody here at the school and try and get a bond between you know a Spanish-speaking country and our great school here and possibly some of the Spanish classes at St. Joe's. And, and Jim, when did this begin and how long is the intention for it to go on? We'd like it to go on as long as we can. We think it's going to go on for several more years. Uh, we uh, we're planning a tri uh, trip and uh, we're going to take a few people from the school with us next year, including uh, Jeff, Jeff and Jim himself. And, uh, and so um, uh, we will be doing this as long as uh, we can keep the interest. And now, the heavy lifting continues at St. Joe's as volunteers are gathered to sort items and stuff banana boxes for packing the items and shipping to Central America. Fifty boxes have been filled so far, and four rooms remain full of still-to-be-sorted items. What began as a collaborative project at a high school has reached beyond the students to include their families and the larger community throughout northern New Jersey, being featured in two local newspapers and on the town sign in Carlstadt on the day of the drive. All in all, the container drive has been a success, and we look forward to being able to make a major impact by helping those less fortunate than us.